Hello everybody and thanks for watching the internet. I am Stryker on the world famous <laughs> krock.com and if you just see us three standing here, this is not a reality show. I'm Stryker from the radio. Um, this is Matt and that is Dom. They are 66% of the greatest band, <laughs> Muse. Hey, how's it going? Everything going? is good. How are you guys doing? Great, great. Very, Very chilled good. out and relaxed. We're on a kind of a vacation, a holiday. And, um, and we thought we'd just come in and do some work. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now I appreciate that. Yeah. Everyone watching this appreciates yeah. that. You guys are probably like, uh, damn it, we gotta go yeah. talk no, to this No, 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 we're more, more than happy. We, we're, we're, we're basically in LA for the, for the week. We've been here for a week already. And for, we're staying here for about another week. And it's just, it's just uh, you know, it's nice to be chilling out here and not um, having to uh, perform or anything. We've got, we've got the gigs coming up. When is that, in a couple of weeks or something? Or yeah, Sunday. Se September 25th and 26th. Yeah. We have two shows at Staples here in Southern yeah. California. That's, That's it. And then September 23rd at the Honda Center. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to give away some tickets on the radio cool. when I play this back. Nice. But let's talk about vacation and relaxation and not talk about shows for a minute. So you're in L.A. for a few days. Um, even though, of course, you're not even from the United States, I consider you an L.A. band because this city has gravitated to you guys for a yeah. very long time. Yeah, no, we've uh, we've loved it here uh, ever since we we actually made quite a lot of our third album here, Absolution. Right. Um, we recorded that a lot of that here, mm. and that was probably when we spent we spent a few couple of months here. So we got to, we got to know the area reasonably okay, you know, and, and we made a lot of friends here and stuff. So every time we come through, we just kind of feel very much at home. It's one of those places where you, you're on the road but you feel at home, you know. When uh, people first move to LA. They hang out in a spot that they think is just the best and most artsy. <laughs> and then a year later, they're like, I can't believe I was hanging out there. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Are there any places like that for you guys? Um, well, you know, there's years ago, when we first came, we used to like hang around the Mondrian. You know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And it's like, and I can't believe, you know, even now, you know, you sort of think like, what was I thinking? You know, right. Like, you know, hanging around a bunch of, you know, buffoons and clowns. Right. And, <laughs> and, uh, um, but, you know, that's what we were. We were buffoons and clowns back then. Right. So, you know, I we, still we, am, we, by the way. Uh, we, so we, we, we fitted in, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going there this Friday if you want to come <laughs> <laughs> for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you stay on the monitor, and now yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't want to know where you're staying exactly, but what <laughs> what parts of LA do, do you gravitate towards? Um, now? All over, really. Silver Lake, I've discovered. Obviously. Okay, that's, that seems that's, like a place where there seems to be place, lots yeah. of nice uh, places to go out there. Right. Been hanging about there a little bit. Palisades, for some reason. Yeah, been, Pacific uh, Palisades. Yeah, I went to high school there in the Palisades. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's a very lovely, a very quiet, laid back. It is. Uh, going very down. rough neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've no. <laughs> been going down uh, Santa Monica, Venice Beach, that kind of area. Okay, yeah, yeah. just all over. Yeah. Nice. And when you're walking around the Venice beach area or even the palisades yeah. are you guys recognized do you hear people saying oh, yeah, so that's the guy yeah, from you it's occasional but it's, it's, ma it's mainly musical people who recognize you it's not like we're not like celebrity types you know? okay. so we get recognized by people who know the music so and so they're very appreciative yeah, and probably like not a, in your it's face it's always a good chat that you have with them or like you know you, you can be uh, you know you know we never get bothered by that kind of thing you know? gotcha yeah. so you've put out five studio albums and the music from the beginning to now it, to me it sounds like Muse all the way through. That's Muse then, this is Muse now, but it is, it's advanced in so many different ways. And I imagine the live shows have to have gone from a two out of 10 in your own mind to just a 10 out of 10. I've seen you guys way more than you've seen me in the past year. <laughs> I was at Coachella, and the uh, week before that, I was at the Vegas show. Oh, cool, that was a good one, yeah. Yeah, I love the Vegas show. Yeah. If you could just tell, tell everyone um, not the cost, but the effort and the amount of manpower and energy it goes into putting together one of your performances. Uh, for, for, the, for the Vegas show, um, well, for that tour, which, yeah. which, that's, the same, that's the same setup we're bringing through for the LA gigs. Mm -hmm. um, what was it, 60, 70 crew, maybe? I think we got about 80. It's quite a big, yeah. it's quite a big touring party right now with that with that show that we're doing because we have all the lifts. The whole thing is completely like custom built for the production because sometimes you'll roll inside an arena or something like that, and there's a there's a stage already there, and then you just put your like your, your gear on there, your instruments and bit of screen or whatever. But this whole thing is um, is arts and it's custom built, you know, for the lifts of the stage is round, so we can get all the people around the back of us. I mean, it's a it's a big old deal, but it's uh, it took a load of effort to actually get the whole thing sorted out in the first place, like the pre-production, like the rehearsal process. That was reasonably stressful. <laughs> I've been to a lot of shows in my time, and. I've seen maybe your band five or six times, but overall, that Vegas show was the best concert I'd ever been to. Wow. I mean, from the sound to the performance yeah. and just the staging when those three giant rectangle square looking things come up and yeah, you guys yeah. are there in the very beginning yeah, yeah. and the lights and the huge eyeball balloons are floating yeah. around. I yeah, mean, yeah. just everything is so amazing. Who comes up with these ideas? Is it just the three of you, or do you have a man and a, a scientist hands you a sheet of paper? <laughs> uh, no, we, we all sort of uh, chat through. It's a collaborative effort with, obviously, you've got like lighting guy, you've got video makers. We've got a couple of video makers that are friends from ours from school and stuff yeah. who've gone on to be, to be kind of like um, 
what does Leo do? He does like special effects, visual for films effects, and things, yeah. So. Visual effects. Uh, so we've got a couple of friends that are in that kind of industry, and then and then there's people like set set builders and that kind of stuff. So we just, okay. we just get them all in the room together and just start talking about what the album means, and you know the kind of moods we'd like to convey with the songs, you know, and and everyone just starts scribbling down just you know ideas and. Then, and then normally budgets kick in and it all gets cut down to something and you end up with something, you know, which is what we've got. Right. Um, it was it, originally it was going to be something, it, it originally wanted the whole thing to be like a, a large building that we were in and the whole thing rotates around like that with like sort of four floors and we were kind of like trapped inside this prison, you know. Oh my God. Uh, but, and, then, and then like eventually we had to cut the, <laughs> eventually we had to cut, we had to cut the whole rotating stage. You have to eat on yeah. the road, you can't spend <laughs> all your money on, on yeah, that yeah, stage, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. And then you, had, then you had to like, yeah, then we end up cutting it, stripping it down to its most sort of simplest form, which is these three kind of miniature sky rises that we're, right. we're playing on. The good thing about having big, a big setup like that is that it's so big to move around that you can actually uh, actually get like we get a month off in November uh, because the last gig we play is um, where is it in America? In New Orleans. New Orleans, Orleans. yeah. yeah. Right. But, but the gig before that is the last gig with the with the setup, and that's the last gig we play. And it takes a month to get the gear to Australia because uh, it has to go wow. on because it, it, it can't go on planes. It has to go right. on ships. On a and ship. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. They don't make you go on that ship, right? You get to go on the plane. Uh, I'm sure we could if we wanted. Okay. To, but, <laughs> but I'm not sure if I want to be out, yeah. out at sea for a month with a couple of sea containers. <laughs> no, I, w I don't think I would want to do that. All right, um, we're still hanging out with Muse. Matt and Dom are here from the band. Um, every time we play a Muse song on the radio, in my mind, you guys are gaining another fan yeah. because there's so many people, I'll play a Muse song and someone will call me like, Stryker, what was that song? I'll tell them, it's Muse. Um, just to give people a little history who don't know that much about you guys, there was a time when you were on a very big record label, rhymes with Havrick. <laughs> Maverick, <laughs> um, and some things were going on. Their taste—they didn't. I don't know if they loved or hated your voice or the music, and they didn't want to put out one of the records. And yeah. was it your choice to leave them, or they said thanks a lot, but goodbye? Yeah, but basically we were on lots of different independent labels, and that, okay. that was that was the biggest one. Actually, Maverick, were, even though they're big, they were an in indie label. You okay. know, like uh, they were just unique for North America. Right. They did licenses, but we we had lots of separate record deals with um, like indie labels in Europe and Australia and stuff. Uh, and over in Europe, we started to do really well. I think our uh, second album, uh, Origin of Symmetry, um, we started to get quite experimental and get into sort of operatic sounds and operatic, right. operatic vocals and more kind of progressive music. And I think at the time over here, rock was like, it was like Limp Bizkit and... It was um, very, very different corn to the UK. And yeah. all, all that kind of stuff, you know, like right. um, heavy metal. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so I think, you know, we, we just weren't really fitting in back then. So, so, so they said, wanted something that was going to hit this second. Go, like that kind of thing, and I was going. Nim, nim, nim. Like, okay, it just wasn't really working. You know I mean? Yeah, I'm sorry. Can can you give the first impression again? <laughs> and you sound like. It's like oh, my and, and I'm like. All up there. Yeah. So it's like you know, it's, it couldn't be further apart, basically. Yeah. Um, so I, th I think that at that time, I think that everyone was looking for heavy metal music in America. You know, right. whereas we were going into a, a whole other world. So, so we ended, it was only a two album deal anyway with them. So we okay. just decided to not carry on, basically. And then you it. signed here in America with Warner Brothers, and it's been yeah. unbelievable since. Yeah, yeah. So our third, third album, Absolution, was kind of perceived as almost like a debut over here. And that was, okay. It felt that way when we when we came out here. Got it. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about. Um, well, I'm going to ask you this. Um, Dom, are you Team Edward or Team um, Freddy? Or what is it, Team Edward or Team Jacob? What's the girl called? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on her team, whatever her team Okay, called. I don't remember her name. Have you seen I'm the not, Twilight movies? I'm definitely on her team. Yeah, I'm not one of the geezers' teams now. I'll be on okay. uh, the ladies' team. Yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not into beefcakes, we're into the girls. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <I> am <laughs> <laughs> the emotional beefcakes. <laughs> I would really like someone, to... Someone, someone's got to start a band. Kristen, yeah, we've got this idea of a band yeah. concept. Someone's got to start a band in America called Emotional Beefcakes. <laughs> That'd be such a good... Like, With a like, huge, like, muscly like, guy. but like singing really emotional music. I think it'd be a great band. <laughs> All right, someone should take this right yeah, now. Exactly. Emotional beefcakes. You give me a song, I'll play it on the radio. These guys <laughs> will probably not take you on tour, but you never know if, if a song hits. Um, what do you think of um, of Twilight and what it is? Is it as big everywhere in the world as it is in the States? Because you know how giant it's, it is here. It's now, particularly right? big in America. It's pretty yeah. big in England. Um, Italy is massive. Uh, we're right in Asia. It's like Japan. Like it's one of those things that I thought would be massive over there, but like no one seems to know it over there. So right. it, it's not that big in Asia. But but yeah, it, se it seems to be particularly big in America. Yeah. Got it. All right, let's end this with something that I wanted to... Actually, no, real quick. Um, on Twitter, I tweeted that you guys were going to be here, and I wanted a few questions, so I just took three here that I thought were decent. Um, M. Shanaman on Twitter. Um, what's on your bucket list as individuals and as a band? What's that? What's it means, list? like, things you want to do before you die. Oh, bucket list. Yeah. Uh, things I want to do. Um, for complete my... 
paramotoring course. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that's something I sing like Limp Bizkit. Yeah, exactly. Do a couple a metal album. Um, yeah. Do a um, metal prog album. I want to go to. Um, I found out what that Japanese island was. It's called Sado Island, where you go and like hang out with a bunch of like monks, okay. Buddhist monks who drum, who just drum all day, sleep on a mat and eat rice. Wow. And so you go, you go there. It's it's kind of for a year though. It's pretty like, it's pretty intensive. But you go there to kind of meditate and play the drums. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I mean, it's uh, yeah. I really want to go and do something like that. Go and spend a bit of time over there. Yeah, I don't, going, I, yeah, I definitely want to, I want to go to India at some point and just like yeah. do the whole like lose it like for a couple of months and, like, and like, come, some magic. Come, come back and reject <laughs> Western civilization. You know what I mean, like, yeah. like, basically, like, definitely do that at some point. When the tour is over, you could probably <laughs> get that in. I would assume. Yeah, exactly. All right, um, Troy Beast wants to know what was it like playing with you two, and did you hang out with them? Did you talk music? Did you guys bond? Yeah, yeah, we hang out with those guys a bit, and uh, they were nice. Yeah, they let us they let us go on their plane, which was very <laughs> very polite of them. Right. Um, yeah, the lovely guys. Um, They're great chaps, really nice guys. It's it's an, it's an, great, yeah, probably the best live band I think we've seen. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. I mean, because we had actually never seen them before. I'd never seen them before when we actually toured them, but it was like, it's great to see those guys. They're totally rocking out, but... Um, they're wicked. We, we got the edge to come and play with us when we played Glastonbury Festival oh. just like a month ago, or in June actually, in, uh, in the UK, and that was great. And we played Where the Streets of No Name. Nice. And that was, you know, that must have been amazing. That was great. Yeah, it's it's a great enough. feeling to kind of get them on stage and play that. But yeah, they're wicked guys. All right, we're going to end this interview here with uh, two thirds of the guys from Muse, Matt and Dom, with the match game. Now, I'm going to say a word or a phrase, and you're just going to follow it up with what you think I Should put be down. Linked. No. Yes, yeah, yeah. Like or l link a word to that Exactly, word. kind of. Right. So an example would be salt. Pepper. Right, okay. Right, okay. So the first one, here we go. Los Angeles. Women. Do you have another guess? Lakers. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. oh sorry, sorry. All right. I, I got the wrong end of the stick. All right. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I, thought, I thought you meant like something that we think of when, when you say that. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Right, okay. LA Lakers, of course. Right. I would have right. got that. Okay. I would have got All right. that. Okay. I've got it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Next one. Um, one nil, by the way. <laughs> yeah. One nil. Okay. <laughs> Bono. Edge. Paul Hewson. <laughs> <laughs> the answer I'm looking for oh, you is you two. That's obvious. Okay. All right. Here. Next one. Sunny. Cher. Cher. Bono. <laughs> <laughs> One nil still. So, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, right. Okay, okay. Sunny Bono yeah, and then yeah. Bono. See what yeah, I did there? Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, all right. Okay. Um, I think I know my one. favorite Muse song. Um, I bet, for some reason I've got a feeling it might be Map of the Problematic. What do you got? Hysteria. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> yes. Very good. <laughs> I don't know how I got that. Stop All right, and the last it. one is okay, here we go. I'm going to give you a clue. Think Las Vegas. Think Las okay. Vegas. Okay, just the, uh, that, that's, your, that's your clue. Yeah, okay. okay. Spearmint? Rhino. Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the answer is Rhino. <laughs> okay. There we go. Easy. Oh Can my God, you guys are awesome. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I said four years ago that one day you guys are going to end up in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> And you have not let me down with the quality of work, both on record and live. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm so appreciative of the band. Oh, good man. Thank Cheers. Thanks much. a lot. Cheers. Thanks for having us. Thanks, thanks for being here. I really appreciate Pleasure. it. Thank it's you. Muse, everybody. I'm Stryker on krock.com. Goodbye. <laughs>